I have been posting shorter versions of how I made my batik cloth on most of my social media platforms. But today, I am gonna. This is my first long form video walking you through how. Not long form, but more like kind of long form. Where I'm walking you through and being able to talk about more details on how we made batik. The particular batik text I'm gonna show you in this video. So here we are. First, I got there. This was actually one of my first lessons. Not my first lesson, like my second first lesson with this particular batik maker. And I this was my second day there. I the first time I went there, I made two different textiles. And this time I wanted to experiment a little bit more with the stamping, but like layer on the different techniques. So stamp but also use other kinds of methods to pattern the cloth like I'm going to show y'all. So I picked my stamp and what you saw earlier, I started on the wrong side. So that was like an error. So I had to go back and start on the other side of the cloth on like my left end of the fabric. And then I finally, you know, started. Then I was stamping. These stamps look pretty good, honestly, but she was giving me more directions about how to like layer the designs. But here I am just, you know, stamping away, having a good time. But honestly, I was really learning how to stamp properly, how to, you know, when like I dip my stamp in the wax, how much wax is enough, like how to kind of figure out what well, I was trying to figure out what am I, what amount of stamp was enough sorry not stamp what amount of wax was enough and then after that um just experimenting like as you can see here the little drips tell me that i put i took on too much wax so that's why it's dripping it shouldn't drip you should be able to just stamp it and move on to the next without it dripping or just like spreading unevenly there really is an art to stamping that i'm still learning um, but yeah, so this is like my second time, not my second time in general, but my first time with this maker, first time learning overall, but my second lesson or the second day of my lesson. I hope that makes sense because honestly, yeah, I hope it makes sense. But yeah, so here I am just learning how to stamp. And again, like she is giving me directions on how to like layer the design. And this is what it ended up looking like when I was done stamping. And then now we are going to move on to the next step, which is, well, the, hey, I'm showing you all the, the stamp I use. So now we're moving on to the next step, which is going to be using the broom. Here's the broom to create more or just like different patterns on the cloth. And you're gonna see the patterns that we created with the broom shortly when we start. But obviously, put the broom in the wax to make sure the broom collects some wax. So then when we put it on the cloth, the wax could then transfer onto the cloth. Here is a cloth and she is giving me a lesson. This is like my, again, I had, this is my first time doing the broom method. So here she is showing me how to do it and i was just observing obviously and y'all this looked really easy <laughs> this looked really easy ironic like it looks easy and i was like oh my gosh like when i started doing it i should be fine this is gonna be simple but i was in for a rude awakening because she made it look easy but when i started doing it i felt like i was just doing whatever and y'all are gonna see me doing my best trying high key struggling to do this but yeah this is like what she like what she did and as you can see like you can see the pattern you know coming through and here i am <laughs> thinking this was i'm just already i took on too much too much stamp sorry too much wax so when you like when i first come into the 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 fabric you just see like a bunch of um wax dripping on the cloth because obviously again i took on so much so much so much so much yeah but this is what i did and to me it did not look good i was not really happy because if you look at what she did down here it's a bit more like spread out but what i was doing just looked like kind of clumpy like right up there um it just looked <laughs> it looked to me me personally it kind of looked a mess um so, but here i am obviously one thing about me i'm never gonna give up 
and I love to learn so I was like okay let me try it again and see if I got it right a second time but here I am going back well I think she's showing me again because obviously like I said she's like girl you need to do better um no she didn't say that obviously but yeah she was just kind of showing me giving me more directions um and what you see right down there that's some wax that is going to be melted um at some point but yeah here i am dipping 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 and why i was like sprinkling the fabric with my broom she was actually stamping a cloth that like i ordered and i'm going to show you that cloth like soon but yeah here i am doing what i do best nothing i'm just kidding um here i am you know trying the technique that she just showed me and again like i was struggling i was struggling a little bit but you know i was doing my best i was doing my best but it was definitely a little difficult because like as you can see right here it's either this is difficult for me because i was either taking on too much wax or not enough wax and then after i finished sprinkling because th this was only like two yards of fabric i started to scrape i, w I just had the urge y'all i i felt this very very intense urge to scrape off <laughs> to scrape off the wax from the table i thought it was going to be satisfying and it really was i started doing it and then she told me that obviously because it's wax it's like it's hardened and to make it a little bit softer i had to pour some like hot wax on the hardened wax and it softened it up a little bit so when i was scraping it away it was a much better experience well not better experience but it was just smoother like it was like it was a smooth scrape that probably doesn't make much sense but honestly it was it was very satisfying and then the scraped up wax i just put it back in the waxing pan because the wax is gonna go melt again and then we're gonna use it to stamp um but yeah and this is this set right here is a peak of the cloth that i had her making what i ordered from her and yeah we're gonna i'm gonna do a video of this like a full long video of that particular cloth but yeah here i am doing some more scraping that's the cloth i love this cloth i love it so much and then after i was done messing around and kind of wasting time we moved on to dyeing we didn't i didn't really show like how we mix a dye in this video i didn't take content of how she makes a dye honestly i was like messing around and i turned around and she was already done mixing the dyes so i didn't really record it unfortunately but i wanted a dark brown i wanted a really dark brown and she mixed the dye again i didn't get to see the process but then when it was done here we are oh here she is dyeing the fabric and dyeing it just depends on the the type of dye you use and also like the color um that kind of determines like how long it lasts and like how you manipulate the cloth with in the dye honestly i need to learn way more about dyeing and i will be very soon but for now i'm just gonna tell you what i was doing so after we've dipped the cloth in the dye bath i was just like she was instructing me to you know make sure that the, the entire cloth took on the dye turning it around you know flipping it just working 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 the fabric to make sure the fabric took on the dye and what also happens in this process which is so fascinating fascinating about batik is that the the like the wax portions as you're turning the fabric around some of them crack a little bit and the dye like dip into the cracks of the wax part so then when the you know you are done and then you like unwax it it just looks so interesting and just like so unique which is why i've no batik cloth is ever the same because like of stuff like that so yeah after i you know put in some serious work um i just let the cloth sit for some time here it is sitting we let it sit i think it was for like 10 to 15 minutes i think yeah i think that was how long we let it sit and then it was ready to be taken out of the dye bath and just left to oxidize and again like you can't really tell well you can kind of tell a little bit what color the fabric is going to be right now but not really but kind of so letting the fabric oxidize and as you're gonna see the fabric is gonna start to look like the color that i wanted 
as the video you know goes on and yeah again i wanted a darker brown so i was like a little bit anxious but i was like optimistic um i wasn't obviously i wasn't like extremely tied to the color but i was just curious to see how the white would like contrast with the dark brown um but yeah and y'all are gonna see what the color ended up being but for now yeah we're just gonna look at the cloth here's the cloth and as you can see here look those are the motifs that we stamped and then you could see the wax sprinkled with the broom yeah so that's that now we moving forward to on waxing the cloth and usually you do that by cooking the wax melting the wax melting the wax in hot water and it's kind of like cooking because the water is typically still on the fire and obviously the water cannot just be it can be extremely hot because then like you know i think in i don't know if it melts but it probably gets damaged but just hot enough so here we are here is the cloth as you can see the cloth now is in the hot water and as she's doing this moving it around she's obviously like breaking up the dot the stamp sorry not the stamp the wax oh my gosh she's breaking off the wax and then the wax is melting out of the cloth and then the pattern that we concealed with the wax at the beginning is like coming out i don't know where i was going here but yeah so after that um she took it out of, out of the hot water and then put it in some cold water just so she could be able to kind of rinse it out a lot like more because obviously you don't you can do that with boiling hot water rinse it out but it also helps again like any wax that was left over kind of comes out as you can see in the bucket you could see some residue of wax in the bucket yeah so that's done it's been rinsed out and you can see the color now like i said the brown it turned out fine but I was initially aiming for a darker brown. But this brown looked good though. I like the cloth. And here it is. Again, it's going to be rained one more time. And then when that was done, we you know, hung it out to dry. And yeah, voila, that's the end. Thanks for watching.